हाई गाइज माई नेम इज बपी हा मै देन वेलकम टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल सो गाइज राइट नाउ द कोड आई एम हैविंग ऑन माई स्क्रीन कैन यू टेल मी वेदर दिस कोड इज जेनरेटेड बाई ए आई और दिस कोड इज रिटर्न बाई मी आई नो दैट इट वुड बी डिफिकल्ट फॉर यू टू आइडेंटिफाई वेदर दिस कोड इज जेनरेटेड बाई ए आई और दिस कोड इज रिटर्न बाई मी बिकॉज सी नाउ इट इज वाट इज हैपनिंग देर आर थाउजेंड्स ऑफ लार्ज लैंग्वेज मॉडल्स आर अवेलेबल and people are using those model to generate the codes right uh, like there are some model uh, uh, especially they have designed for the code generation so you can uh, generate any kinds of code let's say you are implementing a projects so this will guide you okay on top of the projects that that means uh, these are the model can provide most of the functionality you need to implement that project so that's why uh, identifying this kinds of ai generated code has become like very challenging nowadays uh, let's say if i give you a task and uh, if i tell you just try to complete it just try to write the code by your own so definitely uh, i am not sure okay whether you will be writing the code or not uh, or you will be like uh, generating the code from the ai and you will be submitting me so this becomes very difficult guys nowadays to identify whether this kinds of code is generated by ai model or uh, this kinds of code is written uh, by you okay or written by human so uh, that's why uh, today in this particular video i'm going to show you one amazing uh, let's say technique to identify uh, whether a code is generated by ai or the code is like written by the human okay so uh, i was exploring guys one of the amazing tool so the tool name is codes uh, codes by okay so this is the uh, like uh, codes by dot ai website so if you just uh, open it up and if you create one account guys so you'll be getting this kinds of dashboards okay now here what you can do guys you can like uh, uh, upload your code that means you can just uh, give your code and you can analyze that okay and this particular uh, uh, let's say tools will tell you whether this code is generated by ai or this code is written by human okay so let me show you so one example um, here i will click on this button okay new ai scan then after that here uh, you will be getting a input box okay now let me show you so let's say this is the code okay i'm using right now so i'll just try to copy this code and here i'm going to paste it okay now if i uh, see this is the python code now so here you have to select the python code and it supports so here you can see guys it supports java c sharp javascript php python and c++ okay so let's select the python and now if i click on the analyze button so guys here i got the analysis now it is telling mostly ai okay that means 98% uh, this code has generated by the ai now if i click on the view button guys you can see there is a view button so it will uh, take me to the reports okay now let me show you the reports so see guys this is the reports i got you can see 98% uh actually it is matching this particular code is generated by ai definitely because i was uh, using this code from the chat gpt see i already generated this code give me a python code uh, uh, for image classification and this is the entire code okay and the same code i have just copy pasted in my vs code and i given in the codes by okay uh, this uh, website now see it is identifying even it is telling you why it is matching the most okay see it is giving you this particular red mark okay you can see this is uh, giving you this particular red mark so that's how guys easily i can identify right now whether a code is written by ai or it is written by human okay now let me show you another demo so what i will do i'll just go back and uh, let's uh, create a new scan now one of the code i have written so this code actually i have written guys so let me copy and let me paste it here i'll select the python now analyze so guys after analyzing you can see this code is written by human okay this code is written by human but not completely written by human uh, i actually took the help from the chat gpt also so some of the part actually i have written with the help of ai model some of the part i have written okay by myself so yes this is one of the amazing tool guys uh, even you can also explore i will uh, provide the link in my description from there you can check it out uh, they have the dashboard section so here also you can see the overview like the ai generated code as well as the human written code okay and they are having another section called project project means uh, the experiment you have done it will save as a default project even uh, you can also delete it okay if you don't need even you can also export it okay so yes guys this is one of the amazing tool and with the help of that now you can identify the ai generated code 
as well as the human written code okay and you can also check the pricing plan so here is the pricing plan guys so if you are uh, creating the account for the first time so here you will be getting a uh, three scan okay three scan after three scan you have to take the subscription and uh, if you're a consultant that means individual person you have to pay 27 dollar okay and here these are the things you can perform okay and if you're a biz, uh, small if you're running a small business so this is the subscription plan and you can do these are the like uh, task and uh, if you want to take it as an enterprise level then you can contact them okay so that's how guys they have uh, defined their pricing structure uh, so if you're interested guys you can check it out i will provide the link in the description so uh, see i was exporting this kinds of tool and i found it like useful because i have seen uh, there are many person they want to detect uh, uh, whether this code is AI generated or whether this code is human written because there are like thousands of use cases are available okay uh, for that so that's why i found this tool very useful so yes guys this is all about and let me know in the comments whether this tool is useful or not with that guys thank you so much for watching this video and i will see you next time